Hi, I'm Diana and I'm Shania and we are the podcast Lash Society. So, I don't know if you've seen this post circulating around Lash Artist stories and stuff like that. I think Melina from Lash Chateau spoke about it and Lash Bay. I don't know if you know who that is, but some of the girls have been talking about this post. That's on Melbourne Gal Pals. For those who don't know, Melbourne Gal Pals is a girls group that's basically I don't know. It's just like a bit of girl chat. Think Where? About, on Facebook? On Facebook. Right. So it's like, think about like just a girls group chat. And sometimes there's drama. Sometimes people fight. Sometimes people get exposed. So not my vibe. I've also been uh, blocked from this group before. Huh? Oh, you've been blocked from this group? Yeah, yeah. Why? I think I, think I was blocked from the original one because I got into a fight with a girl. Oh, this is why I don't go in these groups. Yeah, but it was so good. It was during lockdown. Oh, okay. <laughs> I really needed that. Yeah, like. fair enough. <laughs> Righto. Okay, so anyway. what did this post say? So... This post says, okay, so I'm a bit baffled by a business who charges $345 to do mega volume lashes. Does anyone pay that much for lashes or are we money smart and go for something more affordable? And that got me thinking, how much is too much to be charging as a lash tech? Like, is there a a, a cap on how much we should be charging? What does should be charging mean? How much is too much? Is $345 a lot? It depends, you know, just it, depends, it depends on a lot of things, as we've spoken about before. Mm. Training, experience, overhead. Would you pay $345 for a full set Me of lashes? Me personally, no. Okay. No, I wouldn't. But I don't not appreciate or appreciate. Is it appreciate? It's or appreci- pre- appreciate. Well, it depends. Appreciate. You're from the I'm not you're from the east. enough to Wait, say appreciate. Northeast, northwest? What is this? It's, North- it's east. Yeah, you're from the east. It's east, okay? <laughs> Northeast. from the northeast it's probably the last time <laughs> before it's north but it's fine <laughs> um I, I i personally wouldn't but being in the industry i appreciate and i understand why people do charge that like i would never question someone and say well, why are you charging that for i just personally wouldn't but i don't get lash extensions a lot either so yeah, yeah. i get that mm. i'm the opposite end because i would pay i don't get lash extensions but i would definitely pay 345 dollars for a, a set if I knew that it was going to be exactly what I want. And the thing that I found with a lot of my own clients is they'll come from paying like $90, $80 for a full set, blah, blah, blah. And they come to someone like me who charges 240 something. I don't even know my pricing, but something along that lines for a full set of mega volume wispy. Mm. And they'll pull the plug, they'll pull the trigger and pay that much. And then they don't realize how good lashes can be until they pay for someone who genuinely respects their own craft yeah. and loves what they do. And then they'll be like, wait, like this has never happened before. Like it's always been itchy. My eyes have always burned. It's always fallen off in two weeks or it's a week. It's a learning week. process for clients too. Yeah, of course. But yeah, that's, yeah, definitely. So, so I'm I, sure I, when, when people who don't get their lashes done, or there's some clients who like even like uh, – with my past clients, I'd have some clients that would just not give a shit. They're just like, I just want lashes. Yeah, and that's okay. There's there's a there's a lash tech for people who exactly. want that. Because sometimes I'm like that too. Sometimes I just want, like, I don't really care how well it's done. You just want Something. lashes for a specific event, yeah. for the weekend. You're happy to pay $80 for them to fall out on Monday. Yeah. You just need them for, like, the Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's, there's, there's a market for that and there's artists that can do that for you. Yeah. But then if you're consistently going to that artist and then complaining about how they're doing the lashes, but then also knocking people who charge $345, yeah. it's like... But is that person knocking... Okay, so do you think? I, I think if well, from what you said about this group, people just post a lot of crap in there to get advice because they just don't want to go elsewhere. Yeah, well, I mean, if it's a genuine question and she's a like uh, a person who doesn't really understand what goes into the lashing skills, yeah, I, I think it could be uh, perceived as a genuine question because like three forty five is not. It's a lot of money. It's a. It's well, a, I agree with that. I would say that there's there's a comment here that's like that's almost a week's rent for me. No, thank you. And I get that. Like it's it's yeah it's tough times, but there's always financial financially like a lot of tough times for is it, and is this, every, it's a salon isn't it yeah it's a salon so, so this is 345 for a master lash artist okay to do and then 299 for like a regular lash artist all right so i'm guessing the master lash artist is the owner whose time is more valuable yeah. you know what i mean okay. um so the comments are really interesting and the comments are where i started to kind of get a little bit and there's no disrespect to anybody who commented on this or anything like that i'm not trying to like you know but you know what be an asshole yeah but you know you post your comments on a public forum people are going to have opinions about it you know what i just thought of sorry to cut you off say say you're in like a i don't know this is i'm just doing extremities right now because it's just easy extreme (laughs) extremities not a word it's not a word 
I swear extremities means like your limbs. Hold on. Oh, maybe I got. <laughs> oh, shit. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Extremities. Oh, yeah. Extremities is a limb or appendage of the body, but it also means the furthest point or limit or something. Yeah, so I was right. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> We're both right. Okay, okay. So, like, if you have a group about, like, daily bargains in Melbourne or da- mm. daily daily bargains for, say, kind of Kmart, Aldi, this and, st- this and that, and then someone posts, oh, my God, would you guys pay $1,000 for, say, I don't know, a pair of shoes, mm. like, whatever. You're going for the wrong demographic. Mm. People in that comment section are going to be like, who the f- who the F would pay that much for shoes? Like, uh, my shoes are 20 bucks on sale. Like, it's, it's the it's demogra- certain demographic yeah. that has that mindset. So, it prob- if this is a salon, no one asked that person specifically to go to that particular salon to get a price. Yeah. If that salon's doing she- really well, I- I'm guessing that it's a different clientele. She said that it came up on her Facebook ads. And that- okay. You know, then she went and that would also become, a little bit That would also be a factor in the pricing as yeah, well. Yeah, well, there you go. But the other thing is, yeah, like you're right. No one's no one's forcing you to go to this. It's not no. the only option maybe, in maybe Victoria. Maybe the clients for this salon are not necessarily in this group either. So the, the, or the age demographic the or the income comments demographic. comments are a bit skewed. Yeah. Look, the comments, I, I get, I don't think that the original poster was being disrespectful in what they're saying because i think that you can always ask a question and i think yeah, that it's sure. always great to ask questions yeah. i don't get offended when people say to me why would i like what if someone was like to me why would i pay that much i have i can tell you why you should pay that much but yeah. if you don't want to okay it's no it's fine you know yeah. but then this one of the comments is bitches and their self-perceived worth lmfao asking that price is genuinely an insult to clients actual ro- and then someone else is like actual robbery and to be honest you'd be a self-entitled snob to charge that or pay that much um i would pay that and i wouldn't say that i'm a self-entitled snob and i would also charge that as well um i think that, like what what makes it really disrespectful is that on top of all of these i think that it comes down to insecurities right and how people feel about themselves mm. because the oh wait where's the other comment Oh, yeah, someone said that 345 is um, almost a week's worth of rent for them as well. Mm. So, oh, what was I going to say? Um, one of the comments that the original poster responded to, and I think that this is, this is like where the, where the comment, where the original poster felt their, not their insecurity, but she basically said that I'm a nurse and I don't even get paid this much. I don't think think that lash artists deserve to be getting paid this much and i agree with that but at the same time hello capitalism no one forces <laughs> you to be a nurse. no like you can literally just stop being a nurse go take you know it's, it's achievable for you as well mm. but at the same time i just don't know if the like you should be knocking another profession just because you're not getting paid that much yeah your job is um pff, Fuck, I can't compare myself to a nurse. Are you kidding me? Mm. Nurses are so much more educated. They have an actual degree for what they're doing. I'm Absolutely. a lash artist, right? Yeah. I'm a high school dropout, whatever the fucking stereotype is. Yeah. But I think that it comes down to a little bit of insecurity as well as to, okay, so I'm obviously going down and risking my life for people, getting paid maximum $45 We're an hour. We're going down I don't a know. massive rabbit hole right now. I know, we? but I'm just saying, like, I think that it's, it's, it's a bit rude to say that I don't deserve to earn my money and what I but charge. That, that's just you, be, you, that person obviously just doesn't see the value in it mm. or isn't educated in the value in it. Yeah. Like you said, you've had clients that have gone from receiving 80 to $90 lash sets and when they come to you, they, they start to notice a difference after yeah. they get their lashes done by you a couple of times because they start to get more educated and they understand the process and they see how much work goes into it or they see how their eyes aren't itchy anymore. Mm. Like straight off the bat, if you see a price, like for me, I think I said this before i can't remember now but anyway the the finding tradies for the salon yeah i didn't assume that uh, uh, quotes would come in as high as they've come in or as low i just assumed uh, because i have no idea about how much trades cost and once like i had it explained to me like this is how much materials cost and you got to pay for their labor and you got to take in these factors i'm like okay that's fair but like when you just see things off the car like straight away at it's at the first for the first time and not knowing anything about the industry, I think that comes into play as well. I think people would be more inclined to pay once they understood a little bit more about the work that goes into it. And yeah, that that shows in the comments, to be honest, because 
one of the lash uh, lash tech replied saying like there were a couple of lash techs in the comments being like i would never charge this this is like it doesn't cost that much to do lashes blah blah, blah. and the girl who posted it replied to one of those comments it's like hey babe um so i got my lashes done and i just really want to ask you a question um it's poking into my waterline and my lash tech said that that's normal because the glue falls back into your eye once the lashes so they're pretty much answering their own questions in the thread without them having to be answered by this like yeah basically do you know what i mean like she's paying 80 dollars for lashes having these issues but then being like who the hell would pay $345? Not realizing that there's a difference between $80 lashes and $345 lashes. It's like she gets the point. She's so close to the point, but she's not quite there yeah. yet. And the point's going over her head. But like, you, like you've said, you've told me before that when you were younger, you, had, you were doing cheaper prices when you were in uni and so was I. Yeah. And I think that was a pivotal point for me when even at, when I was I was 22 at the time and I, I did those scoop, scoop on deals, kudo deals to yeah. get clients in because I just wanted to get clients in the door. And that, but this was before social media, so that was the way you do it. Um, I had a bride and she booked scoop on deals for her whole bridal party to get come get lashes done and they came all the way from Gisborne to Greensboro. Mm. Gisborne is like past Sunbury, like yeah. it's far. So autumn, when they said why they came they're like oh it's cheap i was like well you're not gonna come back yeah and i think that was the first time i realized all right this is a good marketing lesson for me yeah i'm not you if you charge a cheaper price to get more people in the door you're going to attract clients and people that you don't necessarily it's a revolving door of clients yeah pretty much and you don't really what's that saying if you market yourself to everyone you market yourself to no one yeah i think once you learn what your your groove is in the in any industry but for our sake the lash industry you find out who your dream client is you find like you work out your prices and your overheads to make sure you're making money but you all you you even with uh lash artist work like i i was never a mega volume heavy girl Mm. because of the demographic of clients that i would get so I started off doing the uni people when I was younger and I was in Greensboro. And then once I started doing lashes in East Ivanhoe, my demographic changed. I was able to change my prices because of all the f- those factors that came into play. But the l- types of clients that were coming in the door in East Ivanhoe compared to Greensboro and because of the way I started marketing myself differently from learning, okay, these are the clients that are coming in at the moment because I'm charging 50 bucks. I don't want the $50 clients because one, they don't appreciate your work most of the time because they are the bargain hunters that are just after, like you said, I need, just need lashes. They yeah. don't, they don't appreciate the work that goes into it. They're, the, they're the, generally, I'm just, which gen- is okay. Like <coughs> every client has different needs. Every client has different needs. Whatever. It's not a problem. There's a lash tech for every client. But you find that they'll be usually the clients that are the bargain hunters, which is not a problem. All I'm saying is that they're the ones that will ask you how long you've got left. Yeah how long is it going to take in working it's going to take two hours like i really need to be out of here in 45 like they don't an hour yeah they don't really appreciate the work that goes into the full set so in your head you're like well why am i bothering yeah but when you start like and you this is why it's another when it comes to education too i sorry i don't want to go down a rabbit hole but when people want to educate people after like six months of lashing themselves and i they think that they're good at lashes a factor that they should take into play is are you good at business though are you good at your, like knowing your clients because all this like learning back and forth about what clients you want what client what you should charge and all all these factors come in from experience you mm. can't do all this in six months this took me years to work yeah. out like i had to work out okay if i charge fifty dollars i'm going to get people that are on a budget that will want fifty dollars and they're the, also the ones that will expect the most you also get treated differently as yes. a service provider from you do from a demographic that you get more treated like a budget service provider absolutely Whereas if you present yourself well and you offer a little bit of luxury within your appointments and you speak a little better depending on your clients obviously we've got clients that we're really relaxed with. Yeah. i'm just saying from first appearances if you present yourself well if your business and branding is set up in a professional like manner, you're almost more worth that yes higher price. you've got to present yourself your sanitation worth that. is at a different yeah. level you're disinfecting is at a different level and this, that's just your off styling. first appearances once the client comes in the door and you've got them in the door at i say 200 250 300 price point your work will then fi- finish off and finalize why you are worth what you are yeah. paying but you have to initially get them in the door mm. And that takes all that process from moving from a cheap budget to that. Some people don't want to move to that though. Like some people no, just need to pay the bills. Yeah. And that's okay, but right? That, that's the type of person that that person should go to. Absolutely. And that's why I agree. Uh, look, 
this post, I hate to say it, but it kind of like, tri- it didn't trigger something in me, but I thought it was a really interesting post psychology mm. wise, right? Because no one is forcing you to go to this person. You could have just turned a blind eye. You could have just kept scrolling, but it impacted this person enough yes, but what, to what, read what, it. What is this group? Digest You just it. said it's all about drama and stuff. It's about opinions. It's not, it's not about yeah, but trauma. Like most people, like normal human mature people, don't go to these freaking groups. What? How do you base maturity off age level? Because no, no, I would no, no, say no, no, no. Majority of people because are like, at like age you when said, a, a, like a person would just look at the price and go the other way. This person yeah. took their time out of their day to go. I'm going to go into this group. That's what say, I'm saying. Like, because they want the drama. That is a drama. Then most people who would post in that group is looking for some sort of validation because, or like to, yeah, to, no, but to it's just a dis- continue it's the just drama a discussion topic for the podcast. <laughs> I, I, I know you're breaking I, the fourth wall right now <laughs> no i'm not i'm just saying that that you're like because you said you got triggered from that post i'm trying to ease that for you and say that you shouldn't get triggered because that person no i didn't I, i'm not i didn't get triggered i just thought it was an interest interesting psychological event that happened it is. that this person saw this went onto this person's business digested it and was like, I'm so angry about this that I'm going to Because that's write the type of people that are in these groups, though. That's what I'm saying. But I think it's interesting. I, I personally think it's interesting when people do things like that. Because, like you said, like, yeah, I know, I, know it's the, I know it's the group for it. And people are going to raise their opinions and da-da-da-da-da. But it's just like, just keep scrolling. <laughs> and there'd be just nothing in this group to read. Just <laughs> this would be the most boring group in the world if no one posted. What else is in this group, by the way? A lot of shit. I am not. No, do you know what? It's not It's not just people bashing each other because if it was, it used to be a bit more like that back in the day when everyone was younger, but then the group kept getting reported to Facebook. So they're like, hey guys, like you need it. So they started kicking out like Is a this lot like of that makers. sis, is this your man group? Kind of, but not as like vigilante as that. Right. <laughs> that's, that's like a PSA. That's like a service for all women, you know? But like one of the posts is talking about, mate, if I ever saw someone I dated in one of those groups, it, it, like that would the most horrific day of my <laughs> life. That would be. It's so interesting. Um, yeah, no. So one of the posts in this group is just about one of my closest friends, twenty first, coming up, and I need gift ideas, or like, oh, I that's fine. This. It's like that type of group. Has anybody got this ring from Pandora? I wanted to, you know, like rent or sell me cute mini dresses it's like a girl why do you group. let me go on a tangent before you don't explain these things i told you that it was a gu- it was it's, it's like a group chat you it's said like a girl's drama. group chat you miss it but there's f- always there's drama whenever there's yeah, okay, you know women so it's not a general involved. consensus that everyone no, in this group is it's drama. not where it's not where people right. come to shit do you know what i mean okay. like all right that's what i'm saying that it's it's strange that this person was like so upset by the pricing when no one's forcing you to go there and I think that she just wanted solidarity like he, yeah. to be like, yeah. you know Validation. what? Yeah. yeah, this yeah. is fucked up. Like this pricing is so fucked up. Yeah, pretty much. But like, why? I guess it's like, do you know what it's like? I just cracked the code. It's like when people post the Tiffany um, like paper clips and they're like, who the fuck would pay $1,000 for this paper clip? And they just want someone to be like, yeah, yeah, that's a stupid amount of money to spend. It's like when you call your girlfriend, you want to bitch about someone, you just want them to go, yeah, yeah, you there. just want them to agree with you. Yeah, it's that type of thing, isn't it? It's like yeah. validating it. That's why it's an interesting psychological event for me because it's like you're wanting this validation from people that you don't know, and that, and then you want people to like almost like rebut, like rebut. I'm what sure you're also like not to knock this person because I have no idea who. I, I think it's I think it's still valid that they. Ask. I think that I think like, it's I like agree. but like I think it's valid if they too. Would, do you think they would take on board a really educated response as to why no, the price because might be three hundred or they would just educate her purposely purely and she's, seeking validation? No, because people have tried to educate her and be like, hey, like I get it, like it is a lot of money, but you know there's a market for everyone and blah blah blah. I wonder where this salon is. Oh God, I really need to know who this like person is just to like. <laughs> validate it in my own mind i'll try to find a um so there were a couple of lash checks in the comments that were like this is fucking ridiculous like who the hell would charge this it doesn't cost this much to do lashes blah 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 etc blah, etc et um but we all know that business isn't based off just what your expenses are right like you need to make a profit and to be honest you can charge whatever you think that you're worth yeah and if people but if come some to of these you, lash artists doing lashes from home it's pretty much all profit besides yeah their costs. good on them yeah <laughs> 
It's you know like, what I mean? I used like, to make good on killing it. when I was at my That's parents. what I'm saying. When I was lashing from my parents' house, it's it was just like cash a in my pocket. It's business. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're But not everyone's really well versed in business. A lot of people are just doing it for cash on the side or just have low overheads. But these people, do you know what? It's people like, what people don't understand is that K- Kmart, let's take for example Kmart, right? Mm. Kmart's so cheap, but they still make a fucking killing because they get all their products for like five cents because they buy it in bulk. Everything is a business. Everything is making profit. But when you see a small business trying to make a profit, that's when you have a fucking issue with yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Like mm. that's when you have an issue with it, really? Yeah. That's what pisses me off. That's like anything. Like it's like there's a lot of sayings about that though. Like a, a small business will piss you off once, and you'll go on about it for years. But you'll go back to the same toxic boyfriend for ten years straight. And I don't. Ag- I don't. Ag- <laughs> he doesn't want you. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not talking not about you, me. Not you. Not you. I'm just. Saying. Or are we? I don't know. We're not. Um, <laughs> no, but that's that's. I don't like that sentiment. I don't like that people are so willing to look down at someone who runs a small business and is actually making 10 20 30 thousand dollars that's how it is a month. Though, it's tall poppy syndrome it's hey it's yeah it's like heinous but when have Coles you just realized what tall poppy syndrome is pop- no, no no i i know what tall poppy <laughs> syndrome is sure <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but when Coles announces that they've made billions of dollars of profit yeah i know there's been quite a bit of outrage lately, lately but they've been doing this this is nothing new but when a small business is successful everyone's like no fuck you, you they know? got a handout from their parents yeah yeah who are you to be charging 345 dollars for a full set when i get paid 40 dollars? well it's not up your price be a lash tech up then. your price <laughs> like i don't know what do you want me to say to you um Anyway, so look, at the end of the day, as long as your books, you've got your dream client, your books are full, people are paying it, then charge whatever you want. As long as your bills are getting paid, that's it. Everyone's yeah. different. Look, obviously, this is just a conversation for the podcast, and I really wanted to bring it up because I think that a lot of people would might have similar opinions to us. But at, this, at the end of the day, I think that the best thing that you can do is keep your head down, keep to yourself, and just go that's for what, what you do. want. Keep going, do what you want to do. Because if you've... If this person is booked up, like you said, their books are full, they're making a killing, they're happy. They don't care what this girl is saying. In someone Melbourne should Gale comment, Pals. say, hey, I'm willing to pay the, the 345. Can someone tell me who the who the salon is? <laughs> I'm happy to book in. I know I should have. I got to the post too late. They already turned off the comments. Do you know what? We'd have no f- freaking content if it wasn't for you because I just don't see any of this shit. I just like it. Another comment was, as a lash tech, I'm livid that some of these, some are charging that much for a full set. And then the original poster was like, hey, I have a question, lovely. My current lashes are poking into my eyelid you and waterline. You said this already. Yeah, I know, but I've just found the comment. I just told the lash tech and she said it's normal for the glue to move back when water touches it. What? Yeah. But she's like, 345 is like way too much for lashes. <laughs> This is why I don't give these things a second glance. It's just like... You know what? Sometimes I just like pissing myself off. If someone genuinely asked, hey, I see this is your price. Can you please explain to me why it is priced the way it is? Yeah. I would have enough respect and say, thank you for asking. I can appreciate why you would think it's an excessive or expensive price. However... Da, 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 and you go into we've done this much training we yeah. have this much oh this is our i would resp- i would i would i think that i would appreciate a client questioning that almost but in a respectful way right it's like going to someone it's like going to a tradie right and then being like okay but like why the fuck are you charging that much do you yeah. know what i mean when i can find someone on facebook marketplace it doesn't okay go to that person on facebook marketplace then do you know what yeah. i mean it's not a business's a business is meant to provide you value, but it's also not their place to be having to justify to every Tom, Dick and Harry why their services are worth the price. No, and if there's a price to be paid and you want to use their service, then you either pay it or go away. Exactly. Mm. That's the thing. Um, <laughs> and if you don't see value in it, stop asking for it. Yeah, exactly. It's always the ones that come back two, three times because they want it, but then they still can't justify the price. So well, obviously you see some value there because you keep coming back to ask exactly. for it. Exactly. So, w- okay, you said to me... Was there anybody in the comments that was like, hey, trying to educate the poster yeah. being like, hey, you know, this yeah. is why, blah, blah, blah. Somebody said, why is everyone so mad? If someone can charge that and someone is paying that, then it's worth it. Can't afford it, then don't. That's what consumerism is. A job that takes two to three hours, you have t- 10% GST, I like this rent, person. utilities, cost of equipment, the bed, product, website, booking fees, admin, taxes, staff wages, etc. Maybe taking home 60 to $70 an hour. Good on her. So the original poster... That has to be a lash artist or a business owner. Yeah, 
Yeah. She's a she's a hairdresser. There you go. She's a hairdresser. So then the original poster, and this is in response to you saying that maybe you paying devil's advocate and being like, maybe they just don't get it, right? So this is the original poster. Yeah, none of these professions should be getting paid that much when healthcare workers and other professions but get paid. But it's not a, a job, it's a business. Price. It's not a job, it's a business. They're not get, the hourly wage that that the lash artist is getting t- is taking home is different. It's like running a hospital and being a nurse at a hospital. Yeah. A hospital has overheads. Yeah. A hospital has rent. A hospital has to buy the machinery. A hospital has as to an do, employee that's obviously your take on a different home scale. Wage. But a hospital is a business. Yeah. The nurse is the employee. A lash artist who works within a salon may not have the overheads, but they won't be getting $345 for that in their pocket. Yeah, it, They'll yeah. be getting close to, if not the same, as the nurse if yeah. they're an employee. Sorry, I'm just trying to screenshot this so then we can, I can like put it straight into the podcast. Um, yeah, so then – so she was like, yeah, none of these professions should be getting paid that much versus healthcare workers. And – People Someone don't understand was like, that revenue that's is not profit. unfortunately the way that it works, hence why so many people are now opting to become business owners, right? And then the original poster was like, um, yeah, because majority... Wait, what did she say? Oh, shit. Um, she's basically saying that... Because she doesn't understand how what it takes to run a business. Well, yeah. If a person, if you paid forty dollars for someone to do the lashes, right? How the hell is that business going to run? Yeah. There's no point. I think it's weird that people are also like bashing on so many. Because I like, don't understand. It comes from ignorance. It comes from ignorance. Yeah. And that person that w- that that's made the comment doesn't understand what it takes to run a business. You are not going to charge fifty dollars for a set of lashes. It's going to take you two hours. It's twenty five dollars an hour. Then you've got to pay rent. Then you got you, you'll go broke. But that's the thing. Like a business that charges fifty dollars for a full set or a refill is not going to be doing those extra. No, things, but like that person doesn't understand GST. that because that person doesn't have a business. Yeah. Like straight that. out. It's so not, it's it's like a limitation of. Knowledge. Of knowledge, yes. That's what, so you, that's what I'm saying. Was, so, like, when yeah. a person doesn't come, has never been to your business before and you're charging, say, what you said, $240 mm. compared to someone charging 50 off the top of someone's head, they're going to be like, why is the price different? Yeah, like, this person's making, like, yeah. an extra 200 After you've enticed them with how you've presented yourself mm. in your business and they're in the door and they come to you a number of times, that's when they start to learn, oh, this is why I charge this much. Yeah. Like, this is why. You know what I mean? Even, like, with McDonald's. I went to McDonald's in Heidelberg. I've gone to McDonald's in Northland. The prices of the drinks are different. I didn't notice that. I have. I got really ticked off. No, I didn't. It was like 50 cents. <laughs> You're like, can I speak to the manager, please? No, well, my brother used to work at McDonald's. He's on a message. I'm like, why the hell is a coffee 50 cents more at Heidelberg than in um, really never North Lamb? How much is it? How much is it? In, do you know how much it is? I want to compare it to Sunshine prices. <laughs> it's like five fifty for a medium latte. Oh, Jesus. That's expensive. I don't know. Anyway, anyway he said sorry. to me, because they're all like that. Coles do it too. If you go to Coles in, in Baldwin yeah. or Coles in Epping, the prices are different because it's they've got different... to the demographic. And, and overheads. The, yeah. the rent for the land in... The rent for the st- uh, the store in Epping is different to the rent for the... It's all... They're all taken into value. It's yeah. all the factors that come I into play. I think that once you're a business owner, it's really clear to see that. But you're right. If you're not exposed to how no. business runs in this society, it's really hard to grasp the fact that everyone is trying to make money off you and it's very confronting yeah but as a business owner and i don't know about you but i definitely know that everyone's trying to make money off me and i get it like i understand marketing i get I, like yeah. i get it i'm, I'm so hyper aware of it people need to understand that prices isn't profit it's revenue oh i know that's a thing and i think that when um like let's say for example when people start lash supply businesses they think that the, because they see a lash supplier stupidly posting how much they earn in a month or whatever they think that that's how much they're taking home and they're like i can start a lash supply business not understanding that profit doesn't mean rev- like revenue doesn't mean profit Mm-mm. you know mm-hmm. and then they're like shit why am i more broke than i was before yeah <laughs> we've all been there. <laughs> like there's bills that just come from nowhere i know and that's the thing like you just don't get it until you're a business owner and you're so fucking deep into it that you can't pull out. <laughs> nah. I've thought about that many times. I'm like, maybe I should just be a housewife. And the only option for a lot of us is to just keep going. You know, we have no other option. We don't have any fallbacks. We don't have, you know, rich parents to support us. We just have to keep going. That's it. Anyway, let's wrap it up. Yeah, I like that conversation though. Yeah. I always love talking about why women should just be unapologetically themselves. Like that person posting that price thing question. Yeah, I think that like... She gave us content. To talk she gave about, us so content first. She of gave also, a lot of lash you. artist content. From what I've heard, a lot of people were making TikToks about this yeah. comment. So she's done the world a little bit like wonders, from what I hear. I hope that she got the validation and that she needed from that post. Because I don't think she's going to be char- paying three hundred forty-five dollars. 
I highly doubt that. Hey, I got a question before we go. What? Do people after pay lash like I services? Don't, I don't offer after pay, but I know a lot of people. Is do. it a thing? Mm. Oh, interesting. All right. Cool. I've never understood that though, because by the time you come back to your next refill, you're still paying off the full set that you got from six weeks ago. Mm, not my circus, not my monkeys. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for joining in. We hope you enjoyed today's <laughs> episode. If you have any questions for us or topic suggestions, please DM us or comment on our podcast. We're on iTunes and Spotify. See you later. See ya. Yeah. <laughs>